to Tagalalang rice fields and the big swing. So yeah, let's go. Tagalalang rice fields um, you will see donation boxes scattered around here so please be a nice person and just donate something someone's farm that you're here disturbing so yeah just make a little donation we are tracking through the jungle it is so much fun it is so tropical down here in the valley um, of Tagalalang rice fields here we go steps here can be pretty slippery and treacherous so bring a good pair of shoes um, suggest don't bring slops because you might slip I mean look at this right now muddy steps pretty scary I'm scared of all but this is so amazing here to go along Rice fields are beautiful, definitely worth coming to visit. It was about a 40 minute drive to get here, but totally worth it. <laughs> the master himself, this guy created all of this. Maybe his ancestors. No, it's this guy. The rice terraces are mm, believed to be about 1200 years old, so I doubt, I doubt it's that guy, <laughs> all by himself. He did it, I'm well, telling you. Maybe he's immortal. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually very fascinating when you get up close with them. Um, it's so innovative and like, oh, it's the, just so cool man. The irrigation is very cool, yeah. very innovative. I've always wondered like people walking on the edge, like isn't that mud, aren't they going to fall down? but it's actually a uh, very hard soil like it almost feels like concrete so you don't fall some of it is mud but most of it is concrete fortunately and it's not muddy and rainy today yeah and they have put like these steps for us to walk on which is pretty cool and that's one of the reasons why you should make a donation when you come here because they didn't have to do that for tourists but they did This is an example of one of the little mud paths. Isn't this just amazing? I think we're approaching another donation box here. Yeah? Do you have anything? It's like a handle. It's 
so peaceful to walk along these the streams. Very, very quiet. There's only a few tourists today. We got you at about 6.30 a.m. And at the moment I can only see three couples and us. It's so funny how there's like the only people that are here are couples. <laughs> and some old uh, and folks some old in a big group. On a wee bit of a holiday. <sighs> I think we're coming to the end of our little hike. Been here for about an hour and a half now. Starting to get a bit hot. We're heading up the hill on the other side to the love nest and the swings. And maybe we'll get a cup of coffee. But this is honestly incredibly beautiful. So worth coming to visit. Some of the reviews were a bit bad on Google, but I didn't find it too bad. Just come early. The donations weren't an issue. Some people said they pissed you a lot, but we didn't find that at all. In total we pay 20 or 30,000 rupiah. Kind of cheap, it's up to you what you want to give. Seems to be some kind of zip line that places it's for bicycles. I'm not sure how that works. It's a bit scary though. Crosses the valley down to there. And all over the place you'll see these uh, love nests. There's one there. So, swings and love nests everywhere. For all the Instagrammers. Okay, that's gonna be that with our time here at Tuganalang. I think I'm saying it wrong. Tuganalang. Tuganalang. We're gonna head back now. We just finished up a nice lunch at Cafe Dewey. Here we had a nice chicken burger which was 65,000 rupiah and I had a yogurt and honey and a banana shake. There's someone doing the bicycle there. Oh my goodness, there's someone in the distance doing the bicycle. Let's see if I can get it. She's going really, really slow. Oh, don't blame her, it looks very scary. <laughs> oh, so entrance is pretty cheap. It's like 30,000 rupiah and you'll be in. You can spend a couple of hours here. There's a whole bunch of swings you can do here, giant swings. The single swing is 200k and the tandem double swing is 300k. The bike is 350k, I think. Lots of fun to be had. Uh, girls, if you're going to do the swing, wear shorts underneath something because your dress goes cray cray and that's it that's we're gonna head back to a bud it's about a 30 minute drive and i think we'll catch some sleep but we'll end the vlog here tomorrow we've got another big adventure we're going whitewater rafting so stay tuned for the next video if you enjoyed it please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you in the next one bye